Hello again, friends. Reading the following psalm is a great way to start the day. The people of every nation on earth are encouraged to praise God for his kindness and great love towards them. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you people of the earth. For his unfailing love for us is powerful. The Lord's faithfulness endures forever. Praise the Lord. Those of us who've given our will and life over to the care of God know we no longer carry the baggage of our past sin and the accompanying guilt and shame. We have been forgiven and declared blameless by the kindness of God in sending Jesus into the world to set us free from the power of sin. We are no longer guilty. We who once lived in rebellion against the things of God are now reconciled to our Heavenly Father who lavishes His love on us. We are His cherished children. If that's not something to praise God for, what is? How priceless your faithful love is. People find safety in the shadow of your wings. They eat well because there's more than enough in your house. You let them drink from your river that flows with good things. At times we may feel undeserving of the goodness of God. Truth is, when we believed in the finished work of Jesus to wash away our sins, we receive an eternal inheritance from God that Jesus purchased for us with his life. We don't deserve it. But God declares the price of sin is paid in full by Jesus. Great blessings belong to those who live pure lives. They follow the Lord's teachings. Great blessings belong to those who follow his rules. They seek him with all their heart. Heavenly Father, today we want to improve our conscious contact with you and praise you. You are the reason we have goodness and mercy following us all the days of our life. Let us not be silent in response to all that today. Thank you for all that Jesus has done for us. Help us to live in faithful response and loving obedience to your will. We ask you to give us the will and the desire to offer all of our lives in praise and thanksgiving for this amazing inheritance of love and kindness we have through Jesus. Amen. Well, let's take a moment, even right now, to thank God for ways we've experienced his love and kindness in these days.